So, David, uh, I was speaking to Takayas yes, prior to the basho. I said, yeah, Takayas, you so win. What, what about this basho? What, what's your goal? He said, to win a championship. Yes, I'm the Ozeki. I have never won a championship. And also, I want to show my gratitude to Araiso Oyakata, former Yokozuna Kseno Sato, my stable mate who helped me to grow, become the man that I am today. But Takayasu, three losses, why does he keep coming up short in winning the championship? Well, he has this chronic lower back problem that tends to force his hips a little high. It, it's funny, uh, uh, when uh, Araiza Oyakata was Kisero Sando, he had the same problem, not so much a lower back problem, but he, he tended to find a bit high as yeah. well. And uh, it's interesting that Takayasu has the same problem. Okay, well, there's their head-to-head. -head. 19 times they've met before. This is their 20th meeting, and 17 of those 19 have gone the way of the Yokozuna. Uh, not uncommon for Hakuho to have very lopsided winning records against uh, other uh, top-ranked uh, men in sumo. Rikishi that he has fought many times, and, and uh, there are very few that, that have even, you know, half of his, his wins. Uh, but there you go. Okay, let me give you a contest update uh, for the people playing the contest. After 13 days, of, of course, not including today, five people are tied for first place, and that's 54 points. So if you add up your points on your team, you can see how far away you are from first place. And that's Jake S., J42, Matt D., Richard, and R. Pedro. It turns out we have two Jake S.'s. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to say their last names, just, you know, just privacy and stuff. Um, but yeah, Jake S. And just let's say that's Smith and Jake S. Uh, let's say that's uh, Stallings. Uh, you know, I don't know what their, their real last names are. And so <laughs> Jake S. was like, really? He left a comment. I, maybe he was joking with me because he knew. But he was like, really? I'm in the, I, I picked Kaisei. How can I be in the lead? And I'm like, oh, you're not. <laughs> uh, that's the other Jake. Uh, no one has 53 points, which is kind of interesting. And six people are tied for second place with 52 points. So one more update tomorrow. And then, of course, after everything's uh, finalized on day 15, I'll do a wrap-up video, uh, usually kind of about Wednesday or Thursday-ish. Um, I sit down, look at all the kind of uh, news coverage of, of what happened, if there are any big stories, retirements, or anything happening Ozeki promotion for Takakesho confirmed, you know, all these kinds of things. Um, uh, and then I kind of have a wrap up video, and, and, you know, often then I award the prizes and stuff. There's no prizes this time, it's just for fun, but I will announce the winners and give you glory on YouTube. Um, Hakuho Zensho Yusho, this would be number 15 if he can get it. A Zen Show Yusho is a perfect 15 and 0 record, and if you go to Wikipedia and you look at the list of Zen Show Yusho, the next closest person has like seven <laughs> or eight. Um, he is so far ahead of anybody else on that list of getting perfect 15 and 0 championships, and of course this would be number 42 overall, which is he's way way ahead of anybody else there, um, and uh, you know he he wants to win this final one of the Heisei era. And then he wants to win again in May, the first one of the new era, which we won't know the name of until the end of April. Uh, and of course, Takayasu wanted to win his first championship, stayed very much in the hunt, but now with three losses, he's mathematically out of it. But he certainly can play spoiler here and give Ichinojo a glimmer of hope um, by beating Yokozuna here on day 14. Okay, one match after this, Goedo Kakeru. So don't go anywhere after this. Watch one more video. I'll give you the winners and losers from earlier in the day in that video. But here we go with Hakuho on your left, Takayasu on your right. If Hakuho wins, he will keep his one-win lead over Ichinojo heading into the final day. If Takayasu beats Hakuho, we'll have a two-way tie for the top spot between Hakuho and Ichinojo. Here we go. Hakuho and Takayasu. Howdy, partner. I'm going to saunter over to your side of the dojo. <laughs> that was a casual saunter. Takayasu should have been a bit closer to going than he was. That one was his fault. 
Trash. Let's get it on. Joji Shikimori Kandayu says Matanash. Let's go. No more Mata. He's copying me. Everything I say, he's copying me. Ozeki Yokozuna Shoda. <laughs> Neither man. Saki, someone's not looking at Hakuo in the eye. Yeah, Takayasu is not looking at Hakuo. Bad thing. Hakuo is telling Takayasu to squat first, then I will join. Bend his knees and go down right here. And here we go. Watch up the right hand snap by Hakuo. Gets the grip. He wants the lead side. Takayasu could be in trouble. Hakuo. No chance. And Hakuo wins by. Looks like a Sita Oshu. Backward post down. Takayasu's attempt to execute the Kokenage arm lock throw was denied. Hakuo goes to 14 and 0. Double inside grip, and Hakuo doesn't waste any time in dispatching Takayasu. So Hakuo remains undefeated. Still has a one win lead over Ichinojo. Hakuo uses a roundhouse slap to break up. Takayasu's initial charge, he gets that right hand immediately and works the left hand in as well while Takayasu tries to get a forward drive going. Now, if the Yokozuna gets a double inside grip on you, even an armbar throw like that, it's just not going to work. No, no. Um, it was the only technique that Takayasu could go to at that, at that point, but there was, there was no space between their bodies because a double inside grip puts you right in your opponent's face. Chest to chest, hip to hip, and you need space between your bodies to make an armbar throw work. And so basically, Takayasu was, was forced to collapse under the pressure of Hakuho's forward drive. All right, so Hakuho, I know a lot of you are really rooting for Hakuho. Maybe a lot of you want to see him get that Zen Show you show. So come back tomorrow. He'll fight Kakuru, final match of the day. Um, we'll already know what Ichinojo has won or lost. Uh, so we'll know if it, you know, if Ichinojo loses, then it doesn't matter what Hakuho does. Uh, but of course, I think Hakuho wants to get the Zen Show you show and get the perfect 15 and 0. And uh, Kakuru is now the only man in his way. All right, thanks for watching. Got one more match today: Kakuru versus Goedo up next.